Hey guys. Well, yesterday I um, uploaded or posted uh, the video about my optimized settings for VR, and there was a little mistake in there. Um, because, well, I said I was using quad views and not foveated rendering in the sim. Now, basically, foveated rendering will give you a huge FPS performance. But I am on a 11,700K CPU, and it's not the world's best CPU. It does its job. I can get a decent FPS in VR. It's not the best CPU, and I am CPU limited. So, now I'm getting around 35, 36 FPS. So let's go flying. I have foveated rendering is off. What views are off in Pimax Play? And I've got OBS running, and that's costing me about 8 FPS. So, still very smooth whilst recording, and that's what we like, of course. I'm gonna climb out. I'm gonna set uh, an altitude here around uh, maybe 2,000 feet. Get the heading selected here. Here we go. Gonna climb out. Not going above the clouds. Right. Gonna set the autopilot. And then here the vertical speed 1000. All right. Above 1,000 feet, fuel pumps can come off and we're about to reach 2,000 feet. So while we're flying straight ahead, well, let me just switch to uh, 3,000 feet. Here we go. <laughs> because we can, all right? So. You will see the uh, FPS is uh, going to increase now. Let me gaze underneath my headset. It's 38, 38, 39 FPS. And that's what I get when I'm recording. Also here, everything looks pretty good. It's smooth flying, just the way I like it. But now, you would suggest that if I going to put uh, foveated rendering on and this is the crystal light so it's going to be fixed foveated rendering not dynamic foveated rendering there's no eye tracking in the Pimax crystal light all right let's use the power here all right now let me go to the settings page coming in here back to VR and here I'm going to switch on foveated rendering and I have it set at 4.0 for the foveated rendering skill. You might want to say well that will give you a lot of performance. All right now well let's see what it does. All right so here we are flying and let me just gaze beyond here. 33, 34. I just lost 5 FPS just with foveated rendering. So in my case, because of foveated rendering, the CPU has to work a little bit harder to uh, make sure that the, uh, the GPU images are being rendered correctly. And that's costing me FPS because that it's already a bottleneck. And when I look below the headset, yeah, it's uh, main thread and render thread went up. So now I'm going to switch it back to off. Oh, wait a minute. I, I can even go to settings. Let's make it uh, point 
three or thirty to make it lower. Here we go. Thirty. Can hardly read anything but on the sides. So now it's thirty. And what do I see? Thirty-two, thirty-three. It's the same. Now, and what this gives me in the headset is a very sharp middle section. If you see the mouse, this section is sharp. But from here on, so the GTN 750, if I'm just straight looking forward, this one is blurry and this side is blurry. From here all the way up here, that's all blurry. So it's only the middle section, the basic six. Those are sharp and the left hand side of the engine instruments. Those are sharp and I really have to move my head to see the other part sharp. So outside only watching <laughs> straight forward is good and the rest is blurry. Now this is worse than a Reverb G2 with this foveated rendering setting for me and I even get a lower FPS so my CPU is the bottleneck my CPU has to render two images together with the GPU has to make sure that the two images come to go to the headset a sharp and a less sharp image and it already had to do a lot of work and now even more work and to get that done it's gonna cost me FPS so now I'm gonna switch off the foveated rendering settings VR foveated rendering off going back in now, let it settle for a minute now everything is sharp again from left to right except for the far edges on the uh, on the lenses but that's normal and if I look underneath I still have 32 32 FPS so it's either basically the same or slightly better and for me that is uh, very important let's get the heading off Oh, heading it off, oh, autopilot off, let's go. So for me, it is important that I, I can see everything clear. Um, those are expensive headsets, and I don't want them to be um, with a, a smaller sweet spot, sweet spot than the Reverb G2 had. It's that's not worth it for me. Also, because I'm CPU limited, it's gonna cost me FPS. Uh, now let's check, we, we just made a small turn. I'm back at 38, so now it's settled again with DLSS. And I'm back at 38 FPS. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute uh, to settle and to come back to the, uh, the right FPS. So you see, with Boveated rendering and you are CPU limited, it's gonna cost you FPS. Now, if you are GPU limited and you have a powerful CPU, then boveated rendering might be a game changer for you. But still, in my opinion, I think that when you have a headset with almost edge-to-edge -edge clarity why would you lower that graphical setting that viewing experience with very sharp edge-to-edge -edge clarity why would you lower that and I know the human eye is sharp in that 40 degrees field of view 
something like that, or 60 degrees field of view, and everything outside, the peripheral view, is blurry. But that's the same as I'm looking at the headset. So you can blur it, but it just doesn't look right. It's... Um, no, it's nothing for me, but that is my personal preference. And um, if you like to use the Boveated rendering, uh, be my guest. But for me, it's, it's not working. Not with my CPU and not for my personal likings. I don't like that narrow sweet spot. I've blown VR for years with a very narrow sweet spot. First on the Quest 2 and then on the uh, Reverb G2. And now, with this, edge to edge clarity, sharpness, and with recording, getting 38 to about 40 FPS, without recording it's easy 45 FPS, I'm happy. So, just to clarify it. It's because I am CPU limited. Boveated rendering doesn't work for me. And I think if you set it to 50, that, that, that box will be a little bit wider. And it might work. And you get used to it, probably. And even with the Crystal Super, with eye tracking, then it is less noticeable. So... You just used what you want to use uh, in that, and um, but I can't use it, and that's uh, <laughs> that's what I found out. I get better performance without than with it. Right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and see you in the next video. Hope it's uh, cleared or yeah, cleared it a, lot, a little bit for uh, for you why I'm not using foveated rendering and uh, maybe yesterday in the video I had a little bit uh, more um, more open about it or have to uh, have to clarify it a little bit uh, a bit better so excuse me for that and I hope to see you in the next video bye for now and see you Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.